wish I could flag down a police car or an ambulance. She was so insistent. She was so adamant about not going to the hospital. She almost seemed afraid. No. Who is your mommy? Why doesn't she have any ID on her? Why was she so evasive about your daddy, too? What is she hiding? Good Lord. He knows that you're a witch. He has to. He had to have seen the magic you were up to in here. Your secret's out. <laughs> oh, little guy. Is that colic still bothering you, Miles? Uh, Don't worry, you'll be all right. You'll see. Uh, Thank God I got my cell phone working again. Uh, uh, I just wish I knew what happened to your mommy. You know, Whitney was at the Blue Note, and the radio said it got trapped with the earthquake. <sighs> Let's just pray your mommy's okay. I tell you, really something, watching you help all these people makes me... Makes me love you even more. You've agreed to be my wife. You know, when we're married, we'll... We'll finally be complete. Our lives will be perfect. God, you and little Ethan are okay. Um, I'm gonna be home as soon as I can. Teresita, por favor, be careful, mijo. The radio said that all the roads and bridges are, are damaged because of the earthquake. Don't, look, don't worry about me, all right? Ethan's gonna take care of me, and I'll be home soon. Thank you, Johnny. No problem, Teresa. Can I use that, please? Sure. I just wanna call the mansion to make sure Jane's okay. Oh, don't worry, Gwen. My daughter is fine. She's my daughter, Teresa, thanks. No. She's mine. Ladies, please. This is no place. Yeah, back off, Teresita. All right, I got good news. I've got transportation to take us home to the children. Oh, please take me to see little Ethan first. Honey, please, just, just take me to see Ethan, Jane. please, take me. No, Teresa, I am going first. Oh, thank God that this is all right. But I think that she should stay at the Blue Note, Martin. I mean, it's dangerous out there. What if she runs into trouble on the way to see little Ethan? Ah, don't worry. Ethan will help her. All right. At a time like this, a man should be with his wife. Just like Catherine. I mean, she's old enough to know better. How could she let Alistair out and let him take our daughter? Now, come on now. Be fair. You know that she couldn't stop him. Sure. And then she ran over here trying to make sure that you were all right. She means well. Put forward, Martin, okay? I can take care of my own husband. And as much as I love my Teresa, she needs to let go of this obsession that she has with Ethan. Let him be with his own wife. Just like Catherine. She needs to back off so that we can rebuild our marriage. Alistair, stop it! You know that earthquake? Finished my date with Teresa. I never got to her dessert. You're gonna give me your dessert, Catherine? Stop it, Alistair. Why? Don't you want your precious Martin to see or anything? Huh? You are my wife, Catherine. He's got to learn that you belong to me. No! No, no! You killed him! You pushed him down the crevice! <laughs> He's halfway to China now. <laughs> hey, rolls were incredible. There's no doubt the tsunami will make landfall at Harmony. No doubt it's coming. We have to issue a warning to Harmony now so people can make for high ground. Wait, don't rush me. Are you crazy? If we don't evacuate the town now, everybody who lives there will die. Breathe in. 
your mommy will be okay. I hope. Are you hungry? Yeah. Poor kid. Stuck with the worst cook in Harmony. I'm sure I can find you something to eat, though. Maureen, are you okay? Uh, I had hurts. You were knocked unconscious. You really should get to a hospital. No. No hospitals. All right, okay. Well, at least come here. Lie down. And I'm gonna get Mark something to eat. Let me do it. No, no, no. Don't be silly. I can take care of the big guy. Now you just lie down. Okay? Thanks. Sure. I really wish you would go to a hospital. Well, how does the sandwich sound? Peanut butter and jelly okay? Great. It's my best recipe. There we go. again. Oh, Kayla. Hey. I wish your mommy wanted to be here. If only you could admit that you're the most important thing in her life. You have to take Gwen home now, and Teresa can hitch a ride. I'm sure she's had practice. Rebecca, listen to me. If you just let me explain, Please, ladies, I, I'm... I need to see little Ethan. Okay, this... I... This isn't even a question. I'm your wife. Obviously, you're gonna take me right now to go see our daughter. Hmm. Ethan already has two cars. Um, you know what? I'm sorry. Gwen's right. She needs your help, so um, I'm just gonna. I'll find a way to see my son no, myself. No, that's no, no. That's that's big of you. But if you would just listen to me for a second, I've arranged transport for both of you. What? Really? Yes, really. I, I. There are two SUVs here from Crane Industries. Two. Oh, thank <laughs> you. Okay. I okay. knew you wouldn't forget me. <laughs> I'm not gonna forget about you. Thank you. I'm the mother of my child. I'm not gonna forget. I have to go help my daughter now. <laughs> but don't think for a second that I'm just gonna sit idly by and watch you marry Eve. <laughs> no way. Now this is gonna cost you, Pookie. Big time. Julian, can you get me some more towels? Yes, yeah. yeah. about Whitley? She ran out of here so quickly. When the quake started, I don't even know where she could be. I don't know. I'm worried about her, too, Eve. I'm going out there to look for her. I don't know. Do you think you should? It's a war zone out there. There's no communication and maybe looters. Maybe you should just wait a while and see if we hear anything. All right, I'll wait. I'll wait a while. <sighs> Isn't this ironic? What? We were so worried about sending Simone out to California with the earthquakes and everything, and we get hit big here. Well, at least we know one of our daughters is safe. Oh, God, okay. I'm not going to get emotional hey, here. Hey, this hey. is just really too much it's for okay. me to do. It's all right. It's okay. It's 
Thank you, TC. Earthquake or no, seems today's your lucky day. What do you want? Oh, now, sister, I just came over to congratulate you on that rock. You're finally going to be Mrs. Julian Crane. What do you care? You're up, TC. Yes, that's right. And don't you forget it. I have TC. He's going to marry me. So you just keep your eyes to yourself. TC is mine. I've had enough for you. Nice knowing you, fancy pants. Go. No. <laughs> Looks like your boyfriend is finally dead. Unbelievable. Oh, my devils. Fox must have figured out I'm a witch. I'll be burned to the stake. Again. And in Dover, too. It's too late. I, I had to have seen everything. This place looks just fine. You know, the Bennett's next door is completely trashed. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Earthquakes. Go figure. Tricky devils. Maybe I'm on a different fault line or something. Who knows? Well, that doesn't make any sense. This, uh, this whole thing doesn't make any sense. Listen, is, uh, is Wallace here all right? Is she gonna, is she gonna yeah, pull she, some... She's just taking a little cat nap. Well, that's interesting. Um, <clears throat> listen, I, I need to use your phone because I gotta call Chad. Uh, no, Fox, my... it, it, it's not working. I've just tried it myself. Right. Uh, I gotta go. Gotta call Chad, make sure Miles is all right. Um, are you sure you're okay here with these two? Yeah, I'm okay. Just want to make sure you're safe, you know? Well, I told you that I didn't need you to escort me back here. Right, right, okay. Tired of arguing, I'm going to go. Have fun. Uh -huh. I knew it. You lied to him. The phone is just fine. Is it now? Oh, you know it is. You kept him from checking on his son. <laughs> and why, may I ask, do you want to make life easier for Fox Crane? Miguel is out and Fox is in, huh? No. Okay, I just hate keeping anyone from their child. I mean, what if that was Maria? That would drive me crazy. Oh, crazy. Oh, oh she's waking up. Oh. oh, well, just let sleeping dogs lie. Oh, oh, earthquake. Oh, oh, earthquake. Tabitha. Uh, earthquake Tabitha? You? Are you the cause of this earthquake? Me? Oh, don't give me that. Tabitha, please don't tell me that you are to blame for the destruction. <sighs> well, good luck. And uh, look, I'll try to send rescue teams as soon as I can. Julia, maybe you could help TC give out some water to the injured and see if there's anything else that they need. Yes. You sure it's gonna be all right with Eve? Yeah, we'll be fine. You go help the wounded, honey. <laughs> what is so damn funny? You are? You got TC months ago. And after everything that you did to break up my marriage, now you are worried about TC running back to me. You know, <laughs> don't be ridiculous, Eve. I am simply amused that you still have feelings for him, but you can't have him. I have Julian. Big deal. Go ahead, marry him. Your life's still over. You tried to kill me, remember? After your trial, you are going to jail for a long, long time. So much for your happy little family. 
My family is fine. Really? You know, it does look to me like Whitney's following down that same path you took. Singing, with the help of a few drinks, to just calm her stage fright. Yeah, but she didn't tonight, did she? You think? Next come drugs. You see, it's that same old story. Like mother, like daughter. I gotta, I gotta get up. Miss, are you all right? Can I help you? No, no, my son. I have I, to get to my son. I don't see a boy. I'll try and find an EMT. Uh, no, I can't wait for a doctor. I have to get to my... Come on, we don't have all night. We have to issue a warning to Harmony now. Hey, don't rush me. I just want to make sure you're right. We shouldn't cause widespread panic if we don't have to. If you don't issue a general warning soon, you'll be the cause of widespread death. I can't do anything till I talk to Alistair Crane. Oh, Earthquakes oh, excite me, Catherine. Oh, let's get down. Let's do it on the ground. You're revolting. Oh, please. Well, then call for help. Why don't you call Martin? Maybe he would like to watch. I can't call Martin. He'll come out and defend me. Oh, really? Well, if he does, I'll make sure that he never bothers us again. Please, Alistair, just take me away from here. Let's go back to the mansion. I'll do anything you want, anything. Come on, please. Did you hear something? No. Earthquake shoved a huge boulder right out of the ground onto the foundation. It's not even cracked. This house was built to last. Well, Teresa used all of the crane resources when she rebuilt the house. And as much as I hate them, I'm glad she did. This house will always keep our family safe. Where to, sir? Back to the mansion, Robert. I'm going to hold you to your promise, Catherine. When we get home, you're going to do anything I want. Yes, Alistair. Anything. I'm so grateful you didn't see me, Martin. I'll do anything to protect you from Alistair. Just like I'll do anything to protect Sheridan. And oh, must have tripped. I'm okay. What did you do with that sandwich? Well, you were really hungry, weren't you? Yeah? It's gotta be way past midnight. Time for you to go to bed. Come on. There we go. Let's not disturb your mommy. Now, where are your PJs? Oh, you want me to read you a book first? Okay. Come here. There we go. This is George. He lived in Africa. He was a good little monkey and always very curious. One day, George saw a man. He had on a large yellow straw hat. The man saw George, too. What a nice little monkey, he thought. I'd like to take him home with me.
Maybe Whitney can have another bastard baby. You are sick. What is wrong with you, Liz? Didn't you get everything that you wanted? You got my husband, you got my house, you got my daughters, you got my life. Is that not enough for you? Every time I see you, your hatred is, is bubbling up like a spring. Well, I hope that you just choke on it. Because that hatred is going to poison any chance you have for happiness. Haven't I put out the olive branch for you over and over again, and haven't you thrown it back in my face over and over again? Well, then go to hell, okay? You, you've got TC, you've divided me from my daughters. Now you can just leave me alone. Just shut the hell up. Before you meet your maker, maybe you can show me why they call you fancy, huh? Hey, no! Stop it! Come on. No! Oh, man, that old trick no is dead. <laughs> Not dead enough, huh? Listen, Kay, we didn't mean to start an earthquake. It was that damn Edna's fault. She was threatening me, and Dora too. And then things just got out of hand. You wrecked my family's house. Oh, I know. That is a pity. Oh, and that means more blasted construction next door so noisy. <laughs> but it, it did make for exciting TV. <laughs> You two are the limit. Oh. Fox left his phone here. You know what? I should probably go take it to him. Oh, good excuse to go see him again, huh? Oh, uh, don't start, okay? Oh, come on, Kay. Huh? Put your cards on the table. You like him, don't you? Stop. Hey, I just don't want to give him another excuse to come back over here and bother me. Oh. <laughs> Just watch Maria for me, okay? Oh, yes, yes, of course, dear. But you know, this house is the safest place to be in Harmony right now. Oh, whoa. Oh. Hey. Okay. Hey, I got your cell phone. I was just, uh, coming back for it. Oops. You saved my life. Again. <laughs> Damn it, I can't take this anymore. I don't care how bad it is out there. I'm going to find my daughter. And I'm going to go too. No, it's really bad out there. Fires, buildings coming down. Chad, I don't care. TC, no, wait. Now, listen, honey, I need you here. Liz, you don't need me. Everything is fine. Yes, I do need you. Wait a second, someone's coming. Oh, hold on. Miles. Is Miles okay? Oh. Look at your bed. What happened? Um, it's, it's, don't worry about me, Mama. I'm, I'm, I'm fine. fine. You know, the house came through with barely a scratch, you know, broken dishes, that sort of thing. No structural damage. That's good. That's really good. You know, did a great job rebuilding this place. Look, um, if little Ethan is asleep, then um, 
I'm gonna go to the mansion. I have to see that Jane is okay for myself. But Teresa, I just saw the crane SUV drive off. How are you gonna get up there? I'm just gonna, I'm gonna walk. I need to get to my daughter. What? Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. <gasps> Jane! <laughs> Sweetheart! Oh my goodness, thank goodness you're okay. Oh, didn't the nanny just say she oh. was okay? She... Oh. Oh, sweetheart, I know she did, but I had to see her with my own two eyes. Oh, thank God you're oh. okay. Oh, good news. <sighs> my jewels and my clothes are going to be just fine. Oh, my beautiful girl's okay. Of course she is. You know, babies bounce. Well, I mean, you did. <sighs> oh, honey, I'm, I'm, I'm so sorry I was so hard on you with the blue note. I should have known that you would have taken my side and bring me home to see Jane and not go to... Uh, Okay, hey, little girl. Yep, see Teresa. Okay, you know what? Let's go downstairs, right? Do you want to go downstairs and have some coffee, have something to eat? Let's relax. Oh, some Irish coffee. Honey, honey, I, I can't do that. Oh, let me guess. You're going to go see Teresa. Oh. Alistair, you're hurting me. Oh, this is so exciting. Oh, God. No, you can't forget your promise. You said you would do anything I want. What I want is... No! Oh, you can't be serious. I said I can't. And you said you would do anything. Right? Right. Or if you don't, then I will hurt everyone you love, starting with Martin or Sheridan. And it would be a tragedy if something else happened to that poor girl. Oh, God. Please don't do anything more to either one of them. You haven't done anything else to Sheridan, have you? Tell me she's safe, Alistair. Tell me. Well, I'm gonna get you. Oh, I got you. Oh. Come here, it's time for Betty Bye. We're gonna read a book first. And we're gonna read Curious George. Come here. here. Your daddy's home. Yes, he is. Yes. Daddy's home. Hello. Yeah, daddy's home. Stay that way. You're gonna give me the pleasure I deserve. This fool hasn't called me in years. All right, Eddie, talk to me. Mr. Crane, I've been trying to reach you all over town. Click on the site I emailed you. It's an emergency. A massive tsunami is headed for Harmony. It's almost here. Coach, hey, it's Whitney. She's been hurt and she seems weak. She needs a doctor. What's wrong with her? I don't know. I don't know. She's been cut and bruised. I just need to know if Miles is okay. Well, you keep her safe. We're leaving now. And yeah. yeah, Miles is just fine, Whitney, okay? He's just fine. Oh, Whitney. Whitney. God, I misjudged you. Looks like you almost killed yourself trying to make it here because you love your son so much. Come on, let's go. I'm ready. You see, wait, honey, you can't leave me here with all these injured people. Besides, how are you going to get to the studio? We will find a way. I just checked all the crane vehicles are being used. Or Alistair's keeping them busy so no one else can use them. Well, that could be. Come on, let's go. Well, I'll come too. Julian, Liz is right. She can't stay here alone with all these injured people. Would you mind? All right, you, 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 you two take care of your daughter. I'll, I'll stay here with Liz. You're an extraordinary man, Julian no. Crane. 
I'm an ordinary man in love with an extraordinary woman. I'll look after her. Okay. Okay, you gotta be kidding. Casey, please, honey. Liz, my daughter needs a doctor, and Eve is the best that we have. I have to get her to the studio. Of course. Julian, thanks for taking care of Liz. Don't worry, she's in good hands. Be careful out there. Well, Julian, seems we have a little time to kill. Come on back to my private office where we can be alone. Um, little Ethan, he's sound asleep, so I'm just gonna go to the mansion and see Jane. Teresa, please, okay? That's not a good idea, and you know that. Little Jane is fine, and, and, and it's dangerous out there. Besides, even if you don't run into problems, Gwen and Rebecca could see you, throw you out, or have you arrested. I need to see Jane for myself, Mama. Is Alistair helping you get up there? No, no, he left me at the blue note. I... No idea where he is. Yeah, well, that figures. He's looking after his own skin. He doesn't care about anyone except himself. Just wish me luck, okay? <sighs> please, luck. please, 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 please stay here with us. We're safe. No, you want? I'll go with her. No, no, no. You stay here, please. Take care of Mama and take care of my son. I'll be back as soon as I can. <laughs> Are you on your way to see your uh, little paramour? Oh, Mother, please. Ethan, come no, on. No, listen. It's nothing like that, all right? I know that you and Jane are safe, but I also know there's a lot of people out there that might be hurt. I'm not like Alistair. I can't ignore it. I have to go help. Okay, fine. Just be careful, okay? I will be. I will be. Okay. Okay, little one. I know. Very proud of him. He's being very brave. Mm. He's a big, fat liar. He's on his way to see Teresa. I'm sure of it. How did you find me? What are you doing here? Be quiet. Don't wake up Marker's mother. Now tell me, how did you find me? The love of my life, Sheridan. I'll always find you. left. Have you found Marty? Terry, TC, Whitney could be seriously hurt. We'll get there. Thank you for coming with me. You don't have to thank me. I'll do anything for Whitney. I hope you know that I would, too. I mean, I know that Liz has poisoned your mind against me, and she's made all these awful accusations, but I love our daughters, and... Well, we better get moving. I mean, there's no use talking about the past. You're with Liz now, and, and I'm gonna be marrying Julian. Eve. Don't. Don't what? Don't marry Julian. Come back to me. What is this? You trying to seduce me? Oh, Julian, I'm insulted. My sister's good enough for you, but I'm not. No, you're despicable. Oh my gosh, what else can happen tonight? 
tsunami hits. Uh, this could be a very nasty night in harmony. <laughs> Stop that bawling woman. All right, go on, Eddie. That you gave me instructions years ago that you and your family needed a warning before anyone else. Well, now, I'm going to make a warning to the general public. Call the TV and radio stations. You will do nothing of the sort. You will post a message on the website just to cover your butt, and I will delete it from here. But then no one will know a tsunami is coming. Shut up, Eddie. Just follow my orders. Yes, Mr. Grant. Whatever you say. Oh, my God. A tsunami is coming towards Harmony. We have to warn everyone. Well, we'll be safe up here in our hill. Oh, no. Now, what about all the people in the town? What about them? You can't just let them die. Watch. Oh, no. Harmony have no idea what's going to hit them next. Look at all those birds. It's like that Hitchcock movie. Look, the tide's going out. What night can you never forget? The night you made love to me.